Hello and good day everyone. I am Alvin P. Escamo and today I am going to portray the character of the Iraqi refugee on the story The Reality and the Record written by Hassan Blasim. They say I make things up like smoke and mirrors. Stories of bombs and fire just to get pity and papers. But how can you tell stories of a broken world? Of memories lost in ashes unless you weave them into tales? Do you remember the day they stole me from the ambulance and dragged me down into their twisting cave? My white coat once a healer touch, became a costume for the strange play. Soldier, rebel, even a monster, I wore them all, like a lizard changing colors, painted by fear. My voice used to whisper comfort, learned their cruel dance, and each lie a desperate shield. Days blurred into years, the flickering screen is my only son. The professor, a man with a mind like a haunted house, kept me sane with stories of a world woven from pain. He spoke of heroes and madmen and their lives echoing in my forced performances. And I questioned, was I any different? A puppet in their twisted show? Then finally, they tossed me out and spit me into the cold mouth of Europe. But home was just smoke and ash. My family ghost lost in the rubble. So I held onto these stories. My torn passport to a new life. Lies mixed with truth. Fear washed with hope. Is it wrong to make a new me not forged in fire but painted with dreams? The officials with their sterile rooms and cold eyes see only lies. They don't hear the echoes of bombs in my head. The whispers of the loss in the wind. They have dates. The maps. Sharp knives to dissect my pain. But this, this ache in my belly, this emptiness where laughter used to live, that's real. My heart, a lonely traveler in my own chest, yearns for a place to belong, where my scars don't need explaining, where the ghosts I carry can find peace. So call me a liar, if you must. But remember, every made-up scene is a piece of a broken world. Every invented scar is a testament to the strength hidden within. We tell stories not to cheat, but to build a bridge over the ruins towards a new hope. We are refugees, not just from the lands, but from ourselves. And sometimes, to find safety, we must first dream of a new shore. Thank you.